Speak about your thoughts on equal hash ASIC, please. Man, I've had about 50 emails about that, and I haven't done a lot of research on it short of this last week watching, you know, that it came out the Z9, and I've seen about every other YouTuber out there kind of covered it and their opinions with it, and it almost would probably deserve its own episode. Um, but bottom line is if something is valuable in this space, the answer has, I believe there's an answer now for the decision making at a company like Bitmain and mind you Bitmain's not the only players in this business they're the only ones that are really going out to the consumer market there's other folks that go and mint this the second Bitmain makes an action in Shenzhen to go get their stuff produced you can bet that there's a lot of other uh, folks should be on my other video here you can bet that there's a lot of other folks out there that are having at least a short run I would call it like a 5,000 plus unit run of probably the same stuff to where Bitmain will do the research but there's nothing stopping them from selling it commercially to other people not just you know the commercial folks so are you know the retail folks so with cryptocurrency getting its its legs in 2017 you can I can from a solution side I can see them making the decision to try to tackle every major crypto um, chain Neo script, Lara V2, I, all of them, everything. There's nothing stopping them from going to do that. Even memory hard ones, as we're seeing. So even uh, X16R, I would have no doubt that right now that if they haven't, they're they're pursuing it. Um, so what it comes down to is the pivot point that the cryptocurrencies are going to do, and are they going to play a every quarterly a cycle that outweighs the cycle? of the ASIC production. Bitmain is going to position themselves to not lose in this, right? I mean, they're going to mine with the machines. They're going to do things that are going to lessen their risk from taking a hit from the R&D side of it. So there's a high chance that a lot of those Z9s are probably being mined with <clears throat> right now as burn-in testing. And they're making their, they're hedging the bet that just in case of Equihash, related currencies would go ahead and fork and get rid of them and, and brick them essentially what happened with you know uh, Monero's uh, people that bought the Monero one and you know they created their own chain with it that trades you know for value um, it's an immovable object unstoppable force kind of situation and what's gonna happen is is I think a lot of this space in general agnostic to what's going on with Bitmain's Z9, right? This is that this is just a product. I'm there's not a lot to talk about it more than okay, yeah, they came out with a a much more efficient version than like I would say the counterpart to the ETH uh version. Uh you can tell that ETH was a more superior algorithm when it came to the DAG file um and that there wasn't a huge lift in the ASIC comparable to the GPU market. Um with regards to that, there's going to be advancements in that space in general when it comes to the production of ASICs, and it's not going to be just Bitmain. So it's going to come down to the strategies of the cryptocurrencies, and it's going to come to the evolution of what GPU and CPU mining is going to become. And I've said this for the past year, that where I see it going, where I see the back-end research going, and where the real cheddar is coming from, thanks for those follows, guys is going to be coming from the space of render uh, mathematical applications items that will actually leverage the gpu where an asic is you're not going to build um unless there's a huge market a specific application so like uh, let's say render token let's say uh if um not if but when somebody comes out with a, a computational fluid dynamics thing if you have a set of math that is the same uh, effort, meaning it's the same algorithm, and it's just the variable inputs that come into it, you could build an ASIC around it. If it's something that's very uh, distributed in what it's doing, meaning it's going to run an image map, and then it's going to run another process uh, that ties those things together, then it runs like a database application in memory. If you start to have very complex things, you're not going to have very... You're not going to have this huge, massive ASIC market on it, at least initially. That's what graphics cards do. They're, they're, they're ASICs themselves, actually, but they have a, a 
problem set that makes them more um, the ability to handle a whole bunch of different situations. So as the crypto market moves to its third and fourth phases, what I'm seeing with like EOS, Cardano, these platform-based systems, you're going to have global compute be built on those where your incentive mechanism is going to be having a, a golem based type of system that's on ethereum to where that's where our gpus and our cpus are going to start to be leveraged and it's going to be a lot like mining because the contributions that we're going to be sending is going to be good work so that's the natural evolution of it that's why i'm not so hyper worried about direct proof of work mining with cryptocurrencies it's just a matter of time that what's going to switch over to where the strengths of the gpus are at and the strengths of the cpus are at and, you know, this is not theory stuff. This is like stuff that traditionally in the compute space, this stuff is actually used, you know, GPUs, CPUs are used in high performance computing environments where they're, they're completing a task. So the concept of the distribution of that from a decentralized standpoint, there's some complexities with it. There's security concerns. There's all these kind of things that have to be figured out on how they're going to handle that because essentially what which is more incentive for somebody to sign up for that type of effort and then get paid out um, or sign up for that type of effort receive the package and then steal the contents right so you have to that part has to be uh, adjudicated but short of that i'm very bullish on this this space i think if anything the cryptocurrency gpu mining scene in general has proven what's a, what the force projection of the space is um, where you have potentially up to 8 million different uh, graphics cards out there up to 8 million. And this is just taking the network hash power of all the different cryptocurrencies prior to the knowledge of an ASIC being on it and then calculating what the average output of a graphics card is. And then just surmising that the estimation would be between 7.1 to 8 million graphics cards that are out there being used for cryptocurrency in this space. That's a lot of force projection of compute. That's like I would say Coinbase taking a billion dollars last year from just facilitating as a custody service for cryptocurrency. They made a lot of money. There's a lot of people this year getting into it. That's not going to be Coinbase. Just like I said in January, what we saw out at CES was the custodial services, the places that are actually out there that are going to be facilitating like Coinbase because bottom line, everybody wants some of that cheddar. It's going to be the same space with this GPU mining scene where everybody's going to want part of that compute cheddar that's available. You have all this huge force projection out there. So bottom line, guys, I, I don't worry about it that much. There's other currencies that are on proof of work that we can mine. The community now is much larger than it used to be in 2014 and people will punch through and give value to these currencies that can be mined and proof of work. And it's just gonna be a struggle back and forth.